Integrative Life Teacher Training Class 5, Testing Your New Teaching Material and Style. Hello, I'm Jim Morningstar, your guide through this nine-session Integrative Life Teacher Training Series. In this class, we will be envisioning and honing our teaching skills through looking at models of teaching and selecting the styles that resonate with us. Selecting your level, format, and focus of teaching. Now, as we have said in our first class, there is an evolving consciousness on the planet with stages that have reflected differing values and behaviors, all of which are still existent in various places in the world. I believe it is our role to understand and help harmonize these systems within ourselves and in our society. We have briefly indicated in class one the roles of teachers in these growing levels. Now, in selecting the content we choose to teach, let us get a general overview of how we might shape our content. A tribal level teacher is an elder who transmits the roles and duties of each member of the tribe to help preserve the ways of the tribe. The content here will be the traditional way life is lived with little tolerance for deviation. A heroic level teacher is a model of unflinching loyalty and service to the leader of one's band. Content here is what shapes the most loyalty and is most powerful in vanquishing outside forces. A saintly level teacher is a paragon of virtue and obedience to the higher order to which all must conform to be saved. Content here are sacred texts and prescriptions for leading a virtuous life of obedience. A pragmatic level teacher has the expertise and skill to impart to those who want to accumulate resources and achieve status in societal and corporate organizations. Content at this level is technical expertise and competitiveness in the system promoting it. A sociocentric level teacher shares social and communication abilities to bring harmony and mutual empowerment to members of groups. Content here is what facilitates self-disclosure and democratic sharing of resources. A cognitive holistic teacher imparts global inclusive values and techniques to help individuals and groups work cooperatively towards shared success. This content involves the understanding of systems in the world and what facilitates their harmonious functioning and growth. Now, integrative life teacher content tends to focus on the last two, the sociocentric and holistic levels of consciousness. Format of group teaching. For the purpose of facilitating human education and growth in groups, traditional classifications of group gatherings include, one, therapy groups to facilitate healing by professionals trained in specific health models with training standards and ethics. Two, support groups to assist self-discovery and growth through feedback and sharing with peers with common or related issues either facilitated by an individual with some expertise in the issues or self-facilitated without a leader, but most often with a set of group behavior guidelines. Three, educational groups. These might include seminars, lectures, meetings, conventions, to provide information to interested parties for application at their own discretion or to obtain a certificate or degree. Finally, what we have here are integrative life groups. Now, the role of an integrative life teacher often draws from several of these traditional groupings. No, it's not therapy, but much of the content and exercises often and do have a very therapeutic value. Interaction amongst group members, like a support group, is encouraged as part of the experiential learning and discovery of the answers within. The curriculum is informational, as in educational groups, 
but is often delivered in an interactive way to maximize the understanding and functioning of systems as consistent with the goals of the sociocentric and holistic levels. The teacher or facilitator is not a therapist in this setting, even if they're trained as a therapist. The integrative life teacher's role is in managing the flow of information and group dynamics to assist the experiential learning process. Focus of group teaching. Now, your curriculum may have a variety of intentions, and it's well for you to be clear on your focus to best facilitate the process. Four examples are, one, discovery. That is to raise awareness with an internal and personal focus, as we do in our opening meditations. Two, sharing. These are opportunities to exchange with other participants with an interaction focus as interspersed in all of my groups. Three, skill building. Training skills to acquire or a product to produce. Learning focused, as we are doing in this class to increase confidence and teaching skills. And four, planning. Designing a plan to recommend or a blueprint for action, future oriented. As we are also doing here in planning for a class you will teach. Now, make a note on Class 5, Handout 1. Your clarity on what your product is will be crucial in the work we will do in the next class which involves communicating to others what you have to offer in written, graphic, and verbal forms so they can make an informed decision about their participation. As an integrative life teacher, we are seeking the gratification in learning and teaching a calling that satisfies our soul. Holding you in my heart as fellow travelers on the road home, I send and receive blessings for our circle and all sentient beings till next class. Blessings in light and love.